Welcome to the future home of the Buffalo Bills, the new Highmark Stadium. This $1.7 billion mega project is more than just a sports venue. It's a marvel of modern engineering, drawing inspiration from one of the UK's most iconic soccer stadiums. Designed to be the fortress for one of the loudest and most passionate fan bases in the NFL, this stadium is built to take on some of the harshest weather conditions Mother Nature can throw at it. But as impressive as this project is, it hasn't been without its share of drama. From controversial design choices to some eyebrow-raising financial decisions, this stadium's story is as complex as it is fascinating. So buckle up as we dive into the highs, lows, and everything in between surrounding one of the most exciting new stadiums in the world. Today, we're going behind the scenes of what might be the most thrilling stadium project not only in the US, but on a global scale. Get ready to explore every detail of this groundbreaking new venue. When you think of Buffalo, New York, you might picture snowy winters and famous chicken wings, not necessarily a powerhouse NFL team. But despite being the second smallest NFL city with a population barely cracking the top 80 in the US, Buffalo's passion for football is unmatched. This city lives and breathes the bills, proving that size doesn't always matter when it comes to fan loyalty. The current Highmark Stadium, built way back in 1973, has been home to the Bills for over 50 years. But with half a century of harsh winters and the elements taking their toll, this outdoor venue has started to show its age. Realizing the need for an upgrade, owners Terry and Kim Pegla began exploring options. Should they revamp the old stadium or go all in on a brand new one? To get a clear picture of the situation, the Pegolas commissioned an engineering study to assess the stadium's condition. The results were eye-opening. It would take nearly $1 billion to renovate the current structure, with a staggering $500 million needed just to fix the upper deck. And even after all that, the renovation would only buy about 15 more years of life for the stadium. In August 2021, the Pegolas put forward a bold proposal. A $1.1 billion stadium, mostly funded by taxpayers, with a not-so-subtle threat to move the bills to Austin, Texas, if their demands weren't met. Just weeks later, the plans were submitted and quickly approved. Fast forward to August 2023, and the cost had ballooned to nearly $1.7 billion, with some critics pointing to questionable financial planning by the bills. But regardless of the price tag, what stands out is the impressive design of this new stadium. On October 8, 2023, the Buffalo Bills faced off against the Jacksonville Jaguars in London's annual NFL showcase. But here's what most people didn't realize. They were playing in a stadium that's a preview of their future home. The game took place at Tottenham Hotspur Stadium, a cutting-edge sports and entertainment venue designed by the renowned architecture firm Populous. And guess what? Populous is the creative force behind Buffalo's new stadium, too. With a portfolio boasting iconic venues like Yankee Stadium and the London Olympic Stadium, it's safe to say the Bills are in good hands. Buffalo's future stadium is set to accommodate around 62,000 fans, with a sleek canopy covering about 65% of the seats, offering much-needed protection from the wind and snow. While it's not total coverage, it's a huge upgrade from the old design. Plus, the new stadium will have enclosed concourses, so fans can stay warm and dry as they move around the facility. And to make things even cozier, heaters will be installed under the overhangs to keep everyone comfortable during those chilly game days. The new stadium's seating is designed with a steep 34-degree angle, bringing fans even closer to the action, much closer than the old stadium's 28-degree layout. In fact, the last row of the general concourse will now be 54 feet closer to the field. This clever design also allowed the architects to push restrooms and concession areas further out, creating seamless 360-degree walking access on both levels for an enhanced fan experience. There's also talk of a 5,000-person standing room-only area, unofficially dubbed the party deck. While it's still unclear if this will make the final cut, one thing is certain. There will be plenty of spots throughout the stadium designed for watching and experiencing the game from all angles. The new stadium layout will feature multiple entry and exit points for the field, so teams and field personnel won't be crammed into a single tunnel like they are now. The exterior of the stadium is just as impressive, with a striking colonnade that gives it a powerful, grounded look. 
The base is lined with iron spot brick panels that vary in height, creating a solid foundation. Above these, lighter perforated metal panels add a dynamic sense of movement, allowing fans to catch glimpses inside the stadium as they approach. Just outside the stadium walls, fans can look forward to a feature that's sure to become a favorite. The Family Circle, anchored by a sculpture of an American bison family. To build excitement, a stadium experience center has been set up where fans can get an early look at the new venue. This center offers a scaled model, virtual reality seat views, and detailed showcases of the food, beverage, and concourse areas. It's designed to give fans a complete preview and help season ticket holders pick their perfect seats. The future stadium will be built right next to the current one, with Abbott Road separating the two. On the other side of the development area, you'll find Erie Community College. Interestingly, the new stadium is being constructed on what used to be a parking lot for the old venue. Over the next few years, these two will essentially trade places. The old stadium will be demolished, and the area is likely to become the new parking lot. The groundbreaking ceremony took place on June 5th, 2023, with big names like Terry Pegola, the NFL commissioner, and the New York governor in attendance, creating quite a buzz in Buffalo. Shortly after, excavation work kicked off, and by March 2024, all excavation was completed, with foundation work well underway. Project leaders reported that the concrete work was nearly finished, and steel installation had already begun to keep everything on track. The concrete is still being poured as the steel framework rises behind it. In mid-May, the Bills unveiled their 2024 schedule, featuring star quarterback Josh Allen at the new stadium's construction site. But here's a wild story. Back in September 2023, during the excavation phase, a fan jumped over the fence and fell into a 30 to 40 foot deep hole. This site quickly earned the nickname The Pit, and throughout the rest of the Bills' 2023 season, fans kept jumping in. It wasn't long before a superstition developed. Feeding The Pit was believed to guarantee a Bills victory. And guess what? The team went on a six-game winning streak heading into the playoffs, with someone falling into the pit before each game. Earlier, I mentioned the deal struck between the state of New York and the Buffalo Bills owners. Now, let's get into the details. The new stadium is set to cost around $1.7 billion. The Pegolas, who own the Bills, will cover about half of that, $850 million. The remaining $850 million will be split between New York State contributing $600 million and Erie County, chipping in $250 million. So, nearly half of the stadium is being funded by taxpayer dollars, a move that one sports economist has labeled as one of the worst deals for taxpayers in the country. With Terry and Kim Pagula's net worth sitting at around $6.8 billion, this stadium likely boosts their assets even more, considering they'll own it outright while only covering half of the costs. When the Pegulas hinted at moving the franchise to a different city, like Austin, New York wasn't about to let that happen. The governor quickly stepped in, allocating $418 million from overdue Seneca Nation casino funds to the stadium project. But that still left more than $400 million to be covered by other New York tax dollars. One hot topic of debate is the new stadium's lack of a roof. While this means it won't be eligible to host the Super Bowl, it sparked quite a controversy. Some fans are thrilled that the Bills will keep their home field advantage in cold weather and those thrilling snowy games that everyone loves to watch. On the flip side, others argue that a roof was essential and that the decision not to include one was purely driven by cost concerns. The new stadium will feature 62,000 seats, which is about 10,000 fewer than its predecessor. Despite this reduction, there's no denying that it's an impressive, large-scale project. It's set to be one of the most exciting new stadiums in the country, showcasing a fresh and dynamic experience for fans. If you're into engineering and construction, be sure to check out my other videos for more exciting content. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Thanks for tuning in. I'll see you in the next one.